I've been in game development for about 15 years, and I've always worked on cool teams, with cool people at big companies, and I uh, figured it was time to do something small. Like a lot of guys, we started working uh, sort of nights and weekends while we had jobs, just doing this for the fun of it. We were going to just do something simple, and it just sort of got bigger and better and bigger and better until we realized that we didn't have any choice but to quit our jobs and dedicate everything to Skulls of the Shogun. So the game in a nutshell is a mashup between tactical turn-based strategy games and arcade button mashers. So Street Fighter versus Advance Wars. Meets chess, meets Halo, meets football. So this game is different than other strategy titles in that it's much more accessible. It's much more fun to play. It's got great characters, great music. It's very live, uh, very dynamic, it's very fast paced. It feels almost more like a sports game than a strategy game. It's got a very simple interface designed to be picked up and played by anybody. And it's just a really fun atmosphere and very quick fast-paced, competitive, awesome gameplay. The story is you are a very famous samurai general who's a, kind of a powerful warlord who gets betrayed on the field of battle on the eve of his greatest victory. So he wakes up in the afterlife dead, and it turns out he was betrayed by one of his inside guys who's also betrayed him again in death and taken his role there. So he basically has to wreak havoc throughout the afterlife, breaking in and kind of busting all the rules, to go after this guy and get revenge and reclaim his honor. The purity of the classes really comes into play with the different strengths and weaknesses of, of the character classes. You've got, you know, snipers versus the grunts. It's really all about taking advantage of your different positions. It really is a lot like football. You've got your linebackers, you've got your wide receivers, your quarterback. Everyone has a role to play and they're not good at something else. So you really need to support each other and work together as a, as a cohesive unit to take down the enemy general. If you love any sort of brawler with an intelligent slant to it, watching your back, moving forward at the right time, it's all about spacing and timing and just sort of taking advantage of the situation. It's not a big, long, drawn-out fight. It's a series of, of punches that are blocked and, and brawled. It really is sort of like a really good fighting game, basically in slow motion. The goal of Skulls of the Shogun was to make great party games that feel like the multiplayer games of days gone by. Like Mario Kart, Bomberman, the kind of stuff that you just pick up and play with your friends, you have a great time, you can play two to four player, you can play online, you can play offline. It's a great game to just get some friends around, sit down on the couch, you know, the alliances are constantly changing, uh, the dynamic battlefield is always changing, and it's just a really great fun to sit down and play socially with your friends. At E3 this year, we won two Best Strategy Games of the Entire Show Awards from GamePro Magazine and 1UP. Best of Show Awards from Destructoid, um, Electric Playground, IGN.com. Uh, it was a really great show. We got a lot of great press. And a lot of people just, when they play the game, they, they freak out. They've never played anything quite like it. And they start slobbering immediately. And it's like, when can I buy this? And I said, not yet. I'm sorry. We're still making it better. So, just wait. Skulls of the Shogun offers a really dynamic new gameplay experience. I think a lot of people are getting bored of the same old shooting games and the same old sort of stuff. This is a different look, it's a different take on a classic type of gameplay married with other types of classic gameplay that work really well together. No one really knew. It's like chocolate and peanut butter. It works out. 